Hi guys, I was just about to throw away some packaging left over from some Christmas mince pies and because of the way my mind works I suddenly thought gravity cars. So I'm going to make two gravity cars to see which one goes best. One I'm going to make with the cardboard box and the other I'm going to make with the plastic packaging that was inside the cardboard box. To make them as close as possible the same I'm going to make the towers out of barbecue skewers and probably make the axles out of the barbecue skewers as well. I found a couple of plastic bobbins that would normally have cotton on them inside my wife's sewing machine. These are spare, honest. For the wheels I'll just use my normal CDs with bottle tops for the centres. Right, first thing I'll do is actually seal the box back up again to give it strength and then cut out the bits that I need for where the axle goes and so on. I'll drill holes in each corner for the tower I don't even need to drill holes, I can probably push these through. Right, I've cut a hole out. I've cut another hole down there, that's where the axle will be. So we need to be able to wrap the line around the axle to turn it. I don't know if it will be visible with the camera, but down in the bottom there I've just put some hot glue to hold the tip of the barbecue skewer. So they're all in place. I need to bend them over so they touch and join them all together. Just a little close up to show you the detail. So there's our pulley, a couple of beads, a bit of bent wire, and then I've just got some drinking straw there that I've put some hot glue in to hold it on top of the tower. And then that needs to be bent back and connected up there so they're all joined together. Now a drinking straw for the front axle tube. Trim that off with some scissors in a minute. And I'll do the same for the back axle tube, but I'll set it in a little bit to leave us a gap for the string to go all the way around. And then I'll cut that off to fit. I think I'll actually attach the straws first. Probably find that this plastic may melt when I put the hot glue on, so we'll find out. Yes, it looks like it's melting. As long as it cools down again and goes hard, that'll be okay. Remember we've got to cut the middle out of this for the pulley, or at least for the line to go around the axle anyway. That's why I haven't glued it in the middle, because I shall cut that out in a minute. Now we'll do a test run, see which car is the fastest. I've wound them both up as far as I can. Hope they go reasonably straight. OK. 
Okay. was a bit slow going. But they both managed the full distance. Okay, we'll try another test run. interesting. Seems to be too close to call. I can't really see any difference. I've checked the lead weights to see if they're any different and well, my scales aren't accurate enough to tell me if there's a significant difference. Summary time. I've made two gravity cars. I've made them as similar as possible, as in they've got the same barbecue skewers for the towers, they've got the same pulleys, they've got the same bit of wire going through the pulleys to support the pulley, they've got the same lead weights, they've got the same CDs for wheels, they've got the same barbecue skewers for axles, the difference was that one's made out of a cardboard box and the other's made out of a piece of plastic packaging. And there's virtually no difference. I've done lots of test runs. I haven't shown you all of them, but they're inconclusive. Sometimes one car's a little bit faster than the other and sometimes it's the other car that's faster. I've tried swapping over the lead weights, that didn't seem to make a significant difference. So it looks like I've made two cars that are the same, even though they're slightly different. The lead weights are 4 ounce lead weights, I can't remember what that is in grams. It'll be around 100 grams more or less, give or take a bit. Um, and that's it. Not quite as exciting as I was hoping, but it does show that you can make gravity cars quite easily. They're both travelling the length of my kitchen quite easily, which is about 5 metres, and they're doing it with 4 ounce lead weights. I've done lots of test runs now, and I really can't establish any significant difference between the cars. They both seem to take turns in going faster or slower. I really can't figure out any significant reason why. Uh, so what I've done now is I've put small wheels on the left hand car. So we should get faster acceleration but probably not get the same distance. So we'll give them a try. Certainly the small wheels are accelerating faster, but I think they're going to stop. Yeah, run out of energy, whereas the other one's still going. So I guess that proves something.